old friend. I had Yeah, I would too, dude. I'd Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. I always felt like she just like, I don't know, she, I never felt like she truly understood the like gravity of the situation. The Taldarim, here, they are attacking the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors. It's like we're literally facing annihilation. Prophecies have been foretold that are literally we're all going to die. And you're like, no, we're not going to use this because it was banned. All right, so we're going to Solarland. Solarland is ridiculously powerful. Uh, deploy pylon because I want to be able to warp stuff directly to the front lines. Which we probably won't be using warp in pylon that much on this mission. I can pretty much go all Nerazim across the board and where you can't go Nerazim, I go Purifier. Like, those are kind of my favorite units across the map and they definitely provide the most utility in my opinion. If we are to obtain the Purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. All right, let's roll then. Defend the ramp with photon cannons. The Taldarim uh, are unleashing their mothership's no. phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in. None shall break us. Pretty sure there's the enemies like right here. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Yeah. I think there's stalkers or something up there that we can or more. Uh, more centuries. Regardless, we're going to throw a shield pile on right or a shield battery right there. I am detecting a Taldarine force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these centuries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. We want to try to stagger the uh, stuns a little bit. That way we can stun stuff for a longer period of time. And there. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. Cold is the void. I walk the shadowed path. We're gonna have to start off with a bunch of zealots. For now, we I am 
because we don't have uh chrono surge which normally i do go chrono surge on this mission but i really do like being able to warp in a pylon anywhere and i also really like having um solar lance i, I solar lance is one of the most powerful sphere of a dune build abilities in this game We're going to drop another gateway as soon as we can. We can afford to save up some Spear of a Dune energy early on. I don't mind having an extra because it lets us use more solar, but we don't want to overdo it. We want to make sure we're spending it because it can always be used on a pylon, which saves us money. And saving minerals is more important than saving you require more gas energy so I think 200s our cap right now if we get anywhere near that we push out anyway all right we want to try to work our way around to where we're in front of the beam Apparently we have an extra guy here. I think it's time to work our way forward. Alright. We can now start making more stalkers. We're going to spend pretty much everything from here on out on stalkers. So I don't think we, oh, we do have immortals right now. Scientists were storing raw solar right here as well. If possible, we should obtain it. So we're going to get another gateway and some immortals on the way. Technically, you can do this and just walk right through here, but we're not going to do that. If you're in a hurry, that's the best way to do this mission is you can scam your way right straight through it. If you're trying to do the, what, 10 minutes or whatever you have to do, beat this, but we're going to take the normal way and keep our army together. If you want to rush this mission, it's really easy to just throw a solar lance over the wall and be done with it. So I'm pretty sure this would be the next attack. And then we have a Taldarine base down here that I want to go push into. Of course. It's easier, so I, go, I wanted to kill that carrier. It's easier to send all of them out from the carrier and then hit everything else with it than to try to make sure the end of it hits the carrier because the carrier is moving you can always miss it if i miss a stalker or two it's not a big deal okay. we have some time we can wait we definitely want to keep building up immortals 
Our forces are near the displacement beam. Yeah, we yeah, must yeah, remain yeah. alert and stay out of its range. Make sure we hit each of these cannons. That'll cut some of that. Lost my last ladder game to a bunch of Tempest. I want to take out this whole base because it's really the only time we get an expansion. Um, let me see. Halo Wars is so StarCraft 2, and then it's going to be North Guard and then Halo Wars. But I think 8 bit's going to come in before the, that. So it's like three, four campaigns down the road. But we're going to do Halo Wars 1 before we do Halo Wars 2. Luckily, Halo Wars 1, I like already know everything about how to put, beat that campaign. Honestly, I'm not even going to bother with a second base. We're not going to have time. This place, this has, oh, yeah, it does. <clears throat> has a rather enforced position. Grab the solar right. We're gonna move down this way and come across. We are one with the shadow. Well, actually, we're gonna have to come around this way because I don't want to use my solar lance on the. Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. Bringing nearby sentries online. We took a little bit of a slower path this time. We might not even be able to beat this. We'll see. We're going to try for sure. Releasing centuries from stasis. I didn't get any of my upgrades, which is part of where we're running into issues. I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. War prisms. There we go. If you can hit them with your immortals. Facilities old defenses using them against us then you can prevent them from ever powering up the extra stuff and that's a that's a pretty big bonus not having to deal with all of this grab 
grab this last solarite. Right. All of the raw solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. As soon as this guy goes past, we're gonna be good to move. Um, I'm gonna drop another pylon because I know we're gonna want a couple more troops for this. Immortals in this, like especially the Annihilator Immortals, that can shoot down all the power units that they have are huge. Like so. Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. Alright, once again, we want to make sure we knock out that carrier. Which I said, and then I didn't do. Alright, now we're in this position where... We still have a lot to go. We can just walk through with our immortals. Pop the pylons. And blink on. Which we actually didn't even have to do. We were in a pretty good position. We were moving pretty far. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. All right, none lost the displacement beam, killed the gateways. Didn't do it. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's attached to a mothership, and it's. I think the intention is to make sure it destroys everything. But if they're going for the the weapons vault, then yeah, they moved a little bit slow for that, and not in the best path. I think they were trying to destroy all of them. Yeah, this is where we meet Phoenix. You wish to see me, Face Smith. Oh, Phoenix 2.0. Artanus, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... How can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought... Well, he believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar. And I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of a Dune. 